What's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington, this is Deer Meat for Dinner, and we're out here doing something that I used to do as a kid all the time. We're hunting crawdads. This is a weird little trap. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but hey, they sell it on Amazon, so someone had to have caught something in it. There you go, now what happens here? The crawdad walks up. Once he gets in there, maybe he's just so happy with all the sardines that he's eating he can't get out and then there's this little grate here that keeps like turtles and stuff from getting in there this is what i got i got four traps one two three four let's go set them you guys austin's taking this like as serious as the super bowl right now he's been scouting for crawl dads like his life depends on it we got a mess of hydrilla down there what exactly is a mess of hydrilla? I mean, is that something that's definable? Yeah, it's a mess. <laughs> Don't look organized, it's strung out all over the place. And that's where I'm gonna put the trap. Are you tying any particular knot? Yeah, I'm tying the overhand granny left that's right. That's the pencil tucky special right there. You can't tie a knot, tie a lot. This looks like a really good spot. This is the exact same trap I used when I was a little kid. Except I grew up in Pennsylvania. What we have here is we have some tussock grass growing up here in the canal. I'm not a biologist, but from what I hear, it grows off of all this debris that rises up from the canal. I don't have a whole lot of growth. That is an alligator slide coming along here. That's his, one of his feet right there. That's his back foot. That's his front foot. Same thing, foot, 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 foot. But you can tell he's not that big. If it was a real big gator, his slide would be wide. But I guarantee you that gator's in here somewhere. Ooh. Look at this. This is what I love to do as a kid. I we catch all kinds of stuff. Little brim. That's a little brim. Oh yeah, Ooh, look at this. That's what I just caught right there. Hey! I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put these in my little bucket and see if I can feed my bass back home. You guys haven't even seen my pond in so long. Okay, so we're gonna come right along this edge here. Hopefully, I haven't found any crawled eds yet, but hopefully we find some right here in this old mossy area. I don't know if there's any crawfish in here or not, but it seems to be everything else here. Why wouldn't there be one? Ooh, this is a nice little spot right here. This spot seems to be the deepest. Well, the traps are set and my seat belt is buckled. We're gonna head to the house, feed the bass some of them fish, hang out with the girls, and we'll see y'all back here tomorrow morning. All right, y'all, just got back to the house here and you haven't seen my pond in quite some time. We've been doing a tremendous amount of work on it. And uh, let's see if my bass is hungry today. We'll just push this right out here, watch this. Ooh, yeah, you seem to be hungry. Look right up here. Ooh, he's like, what? It's sushi night. So my bass's name is Crush, because he crushes everything. 
And it's like he just knows what's up. He's like, come on, keep them coming, keep them coming. But anytime, like, I have a bunch of them, I just... <laughs> he just is like, he's so ruthless. <laughs> so let's talk crawdads. At our ranch, one of our favorite things to do is get together as friends, as family, and eat meals. Well, one of the favorite things that we ever eat are crawdads. Now, it's really tough to just go out into a ditch and catch enough crawdads to feed a whole army of people. So what we do is we order them by the bushel from Louisiana. Now, when we get those crawdads, we'll typically put them into a cooler of fresh water and that's gonna like purge them out. We, we rinse that water, rinse that water. That gets them to spit out all the mud, makes them taste a lot better. Then we dump them into a cooler, season them up, throw them into a pot of super hot water and let them boil. Now that boil is gonna have you know, a, a whole mixture of really good stuff in it. Corn, potatoes, onions, spices, basically a bunch of love and goodness. Now, they're gonna boil. And then when we kill the heat, we have this really cool little tool that goes around the outside of the pot and it squirts cool water on the pot to reduce the entire temperature. And then we just let those cr crawdads soak in that water, in the spicy water. It makes them so good. Well, it's a lot of work and they taste really, really good. But more importantly, when we go out to the ranch and we have crab boils like that, it's all about the camaraderie, the memories, the time spent with our family. You know, my buddy Bernie, he's always out there with his remote control cars. The kids are having a good times. My little girls, Ari and Emma, just absolutely love a marshmallows. Dad, what? What do you got there, honey? What is that? A marshmallow. A minute spend with your family is a minute well spent. Um, to me, life is all about memories. It's all about good times. And uh, I want to thank you for coming along and hanging out with us. Yeah, what? Guess what? It's 24 hours later and we're about to pull our traps. Trap number one's coming to the hill, y'all. Look at all the fish back here. Okay, so this one did not work well for us. We got a big fat bunch of nothing. We only have a fish in there. Numero dos, coming at you. What do we have? This is the one I actually thought was gonna do really good. Ooh. We have an eel. Hey, number three, let's see. Oh my gosh, look at this, dude. We've got a bunch of bait from yesterday and nothing in here. Um, this is far from successful, but guess what? I learn more when I'm unsuccessful than when I'm actually successful. This is psycho. Nothing. That's what I think about this. Hey, see, now it's time to go pull Austin's traps. All he's got to do is catch one quarter inch crawl dad and he beat me. Best spot to get in the water, but uh, little six, seven foot gator right there. He put the clamps on you. While we're out here, I want to give a a really big shout out to Augie Zarati. 
He was actually killed right here on this bend here a while back. Local Jupiter boy. Spent a lot of his life out here in the Colbert area. And when we came out here to catch these crawdads, I wanted to mention him. And it was just cool to see that gator laying there on the bank here at Augie's spot. Tell all you guys out there, if you spend time, doesn't matter if you're in the woods or wherever you are, accidents happen in a blink of an eye. Augie lost his life right here. I pray for each and every one of y'all that y'all enjoy life and take each and every day as a gift and as a blessing. All men die, few ever really live. So get busy living. Augie, this one's for you, brother. Got to be real careful when you're fooling around this water here. Even in just a little spot like this, you could have a monster man-eating alligator. That gator was just stirring this up, creating mud, because he knew if the water's clear, you can see him. If it's muddy, he's got the advantage. Joker right there would bite the heck out of Superman. Okay, Cracker. Ready? Yeah, man. Things ain't been looking too promising. Come on, have something going here. Maybe we should be vegetarians. A whole lot of nothing. This is one of Austin's traps, but I'll pull it for him because he's wearing nice shoes. Hey, we got fish. This is the daggum trap that I expected to catch nothing in. And we got some fish at least. Hey, I'll take it. Caught some fish, that's it. Y'all, this is what I'm gonna tell you. It's either the wrong time of the year or there just ain't any crawdads around here. Now, I have been up to South Georgia on the Ottawa River and caught absolute wild amounts of, of crawdads. I thought we could come out here and catch them, but we didn't. So you don't always learn when you succeed, but when you fail, you always learn. This was a 100% failure when it comes to catching crawdads, but it was 100% success when it comes to learning. Here's scoop, folks. Not a lot of y'all know this, but I hate defeat with a passion. I know there's a crawdad in there somewhere, and if they ain't gonna go into my trap, I'm gonna cast another one. Oh, I got him. See the fish on top there? Oh, I got something pretty here. We'll get that fish. My net is dirty. Oh, good. Oh, what is this? That's some kind of carp. That's a carp. Big old mud minnow. Carps. Gosh. Dang it, this is cool. Let's say if I can get 20,000 likes on this video, I'm gonna pack up all my stuff, we're gonna go up to South Georgia, and we're gonna do a full video catching crawdads, and I will not stop until we find them, catch them, clean them, and cook them. What's up, happy people? We are back in the kitchen right now, and guess what? We completely struck out on the crawdads, but I don't really care because that's why they make grocery stores. We're having Aria's fifth birthday party right now. Everyone's having a blast. And I'm gonna show you something really fun to make. That is yellow cornmeal. Throw it in there. This is flour, all-purpose flour. Typically, it's about a four to one mixture. Here are a couple eggs. Throw them in there. 
This is some baking powder, about that much. What? Here is, that's a cream corn. Put it in the, in the pot. This, and I'm making this up as I go. I kind of know what I'm doing, but it's just a mixture. This is some homemade um, syrup. Herman, I know you're excited. Buddy of ours, Herman from New York, he came by and gave us that. And so he's probably gonna be like, holy cow, they're using this. Let's take a little honey. That's orange blossom honey, put it in there. We're gonna mix this up. Let's start mixing. Just like that. Everything's coming together. Now right here, see this? While you're going, this is just some, but, uh, this is some uh, whole milk. Those are crawdads. That's just the tails, that's tail meat. Throw them right in there, just like that. This is gonna be something delicious for any party. That is a peanut oil. And these may be a little too thin, we'll find out. Look perfect to me. They're gonna appear too thin when you start, but they're actually not. You know how people came up with the name Hush Puppy? Back in the day, ladies would be in the kitchen cooking and you know they'd be frying stuff up and the dogs would be there. They'd either kick the dog or take him a little piece of that fried batter, flip it to him and say, Hush Puppy. <laughs> That's what we're looking for right there. Nice golden brown. Love potion number nine, ladies and gentlemen. Come here, Mr. Levi. I gotta give this youngster a shout out. They're our next door neighbor. In about two days a week, I'll walk out and I will hear deer meat for dinner so loud on their on their TV. I'm like, well, I guess he's watching deer meat for dinner. How, how many of my videos do you think you've watched? I don't know. More than 10? Yes, way more than 10. <laughs> it's awesome when your neighbors love your channel. Now, as soon as you're done, while they're still hot, drizzle some of that orange blossom honey right on top and the heat from the fritter will make it just like melt into happiness. So this is just as spontaneous as can be. Our five-year-old daughter, Aria, is covered in mud and water playing in the backyard. These are all wonderful friends of ours. This is Chris from Levitas. This is my beautiful wife, Sarah, if you didn't know. That's Levi. I get a check. <laughs> this is my favorite, this is my favorite dentist in the whole world, Mr. Nick. He's a friend for it. Yes, me. and if you live in South Florida and are looking for an amazing dentist, that's your guy, I promise. Thank you. That's a beautiful wife, Lindsay. This is my brother, Aubrey's partner. If you've ever checked out Fish Rules, this is who writes all of our code. Not our code, their code. <laughs> it's all Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> <family now. laughs> That's his wonderful daughter. Y'all try this. This is That's something fine. that I think you will really enjoy. Oh Dig God. right in on it. Here, you want to Now, it? as you've been seeing throughout this video, okay. there are many ways to Ooh. cook crawdads. A little bit of sweet. Ooh. It's got corn in there. Oh, that's awesome. good. Really good. Dude, really good. Rob, it's really, really, really good. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Listen, you guys. I want to tell you right there that you right there. I want to tell you that I love you and I appreciate you taking time out of your day to hang out with us. But that's all I got for you because we got a party to enjoy for the rest of the day. Take care. God bless. And we are say it. Gone. <laughs> hey, hey, you ever see a fish? A fish is like creeping up on the bait. I can see her. I'm coming. <laughs>